I am a public administrator. I've been in the public administration working mostly on local development and how to get out of uh, underdevelopment traps, particularly in the south of Italy, but also in the areas in the northern Italy, uh, for 15 years now. And uh, I was attracted by the methodology uh, since uh, what I do in the field uh, is uh, trying to destabilize situations and to inject uh, the, the, the will for change and this, this, is, this brought me here. The idea of stewardship for me is uh, just taking care collectively. Uh, it needs to have a, a motivation which is based basically on the behavior. It needs to have a methodology, otherwise we don't go anywhere. And uh, it needs to have uh, unintended results, which have something to do with people, as it was said here, use values or well-being. Well, the very description I gave you is different. <laughs> it would not be the one I would have given before. So since I, at the end of the game, I'm a methodological person, I try to uh, listen to all the cases and try to put them into cells. Uh, and they uh, gave me the sense that uh, there are some areas, particularly concerning what we said before, behavior, where people are very keen in analyzing. Uh, and there are areas like the relation with the state, which is not dealt with clearly in people's mind. Uh, but many cases uh, which were presented, if I offered a, a, a case studies or a taxonomy of different ways to relate with the state. Methodology is not it was not investigated as much as I was expecting. Uh, while, for example, um, in terms of content, uh, it was quite, uh, I, was, I mean, I was quite taken aback by four or five different examples, particularly uh, a, a fantastic example of how you can trigger change by doing a micro, micro, micro uh, action, having in mind what the um, causality effect can be. The example was presented to us, not, not mine, it was that somebody had in mind that animals had to be taken uh, back to urban areas and rather than announcing that on the, as a big manifesto and going nowhere, uh, uh, he sort of started uh, mobilizing people around the problem uh, of some trees with some bags and uh, which could be dealt with by having chickens. And he, he, in fact, had conceived a sequence of events that is slowly unrolling. And the question is, okay, he's doing something, he has something in mind, but did people really want to have chicken around? So that's an issue preferences. preference. Is, is, uh, on major, it raises actually major issues like when you come to Matera, uh, as where we are, we have a certain idea of how we should go, should grow, of how we don't like possibly to have Coca-Cola advertising all over Matera in about a couple of years. But it, is this our preferences coming from outside or is that people's preferences? So this is a delicate issue. And of course, stewardship, stewardship should be about making, giving people the chance to think what they really want rather than imposing preferences or taking preference, preferences as given. Well, the, the atmosphere, uh, which is important, is not just about uh, uh, knowledge, it's also about uh, uh, emotions. Uh, uh, and uh, I think there was a very good feeling. Even discussions uh, uh, of the relation between uh, the local community here and the edge riders, which have been working here in the past, uh, 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 the Ann Monastery uh, experiment, was uh, in a sense, uh, Although discussed the conflictual issues, it was, it was done in, a, in an appropriate way. And the atmosphere, I think, is conducive to, to good exchange of views. I personally met at least six or seven people I would like to, to hear of, uh, from again.